welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be something a little bit different i'm actually going to be answering some of your assumptions like your assumptions you guys have of me but i'm going to go on my instagram now and check i actually filmed a video very similar to this um a couple of months ago i did with adol and it, it turned out to be really interesting to say the least so if you haven't watched that i will leave that link down below for you guys to watch i'm not gonna lie guys i'm a bit apprehensive i'm a bit nervous i'm um, just quite excited to see what you guys have assumed of me um but yeah let's jump right in to the video okay so i've got all of your assumptions here i'm gonna go right to the bottom and choose the first one because it's only fair the first assumption is you have never lived in with your in-laws and that is a very correct i've actually never lived with my in-laws if you guys didn't know i moved out when i was 18 i moved out of my parents house and adel wanted to move out because he lived in with his parents like his whole life so when he got married obviously he wanted to move out i already lived out so it didn't really matter so we got a house together and we lived in together so yeah to answer your question i've never lived in with my in-laws but however i have stayed over a night or two but um yeah never lived in with the in-laws so yeah moving on to the next assumption the next assumption is you don't get along with some of your sisters as you used to um i don't know where you got that from that's very incorrect me and my family are really close and we've actually got like a whatsapp group where we all chat together update each other on like what's going on this that and the other even though my sisters are like all spread out um i live in leicester with some of my sisters my other sister lives in norwich my other sister li lives in like newcastle my brother lives in like dubai like, like everyone is pretty pretty spread out but we all obviously get along together um yeah that's all i have to say about that one <laughs> the next assumption is very correct it says you are a shopaholic explanation mark and that is so true um but to defend that actually i feel like i used to shop a lot more before than i than i do now like i feel like now i've matured and like i save now whereas before i never used to save i used to like shop till i drop every like i used to go to town like literally every other week wow i used to go to town literally yeah like every weekend and i used to go shopping now like i feel like i go to town maybe like every two every like once every two weeks or something so i don't shop as much as i used to that's for sure but i mean i do enjoy shopping like come on who doesn't enjoy shopping like shopping is is a very great way to make you feel a lot better about yourself like if you're feeling down or if you're feeling a bit upset honestly like just nip into town spend your cash and honestly you feel so much better when you have like new things to try on new makeup to try like you feel so much better so i love shopping but i'm not as a shopaholic as i used to be before so just to clear that up okay um, so the next assumption is you waste a lot of money on food takeaways from outside because you hate cooking so um true and not true uh, when i first got married me and adol used to like literally buy takeaway like at least three times a week hence that's why i gained some weight after i got married but now i know like now i feel like i've matured and um I learned that buying takeaways can cost quite a lot of money like so we don't do that as much as we used to before um i don't hate cooking i i don't like it either like i've just got like a hate love relationship with cooking i love cooking because obviously it fills my belly so i'm not hungry after it but i don't love cooking because i haven't got a passion for it so i'm not one of those that spend hours in the kitchen trying to make a lovely meal no i just cook just to fill our bellies up if that makes sense obviously like edible food don't get me wrong like you can eat and it tastes good but i don't like enjoy cooking so i don't know where i went with that question yeah anyways moving on to the next assumption <laughs> next assumption is you are very um insecure and shy so if you've actually ever met me out and about um your first like impression would be like i'm very shy um i i can be insecure sometimes about myself and i feel like that's very normal like everyone's got some some insecurities about themselves but like i have grown a lot more confident than i used to before like i used, I used to be very insecure before but now i feel like i've become more confident and like um i believe in myself a lot like a lot more than i used to before like if you realize a couple of years ago i never used to do any hauls on my channel like never ever try on hauls and stuff because i was very insecure about myself but now i've learned to love myself and learn to like obviously like accept myself for who i am and how i am so um obviously i do have insecurities like every other person out there 
and I can be a little bit shy when you first meet me but once you get to know me I'm like the craziest person ever um, I'm very fun probably like outgoing but when you first meet me your first impression would be like yeah she's quite shy and that is very correct so yes next assumption is you swear quite a lot lol um, what do I have to say about that one? I used to swear a lot more. I've actually calmed down. I don't know why. Like, you know, when you're out and about with like your friends or like your sister, like you're only having fun, you just tend, like, I don't know about everyone else, but I just tend to swear out of nowhere for some reason. It's a really bad habit, I know, and I really need to cut it out. I am trying to work on that, um, but yeah. That's something I definitely need to cut out my system is swearing less and being more of a, like, a lady lady. A lady lady, if that makes sense, yeah need to work on that one next assumption is you love coats that assumption is very very correct I actually own over 30 coats or something crazy like that yeah I've got a lot of coats I love coats I just love the fact that it just like makes up an outfit you can wear the most boring outfit on it you can wear your PJs and no one would know like you wear a massive teddy bear coat it's so long like no one would know what you're wearing underneath I love coats I just yeah, plus I feel the cold like literally 90% of the time, so coats is like a must for me. Like I'll be like literally wrapped up in a coat, scarf, everything, and that'll just be wearing a jumper. And I'm just like, how? Like how? I'm freezing here and you're just chilling in a jumper. So yeah, I love coats for so many different reasons. Okay, so the next action, <laughs> this actually made me laugh so much. The next assumption is, I assume that you have Starbucks almost every day. Am I right, lol? Okay, so again, I used to have Starbucks, literally, I kid you not, I'm not even lying, every other day. And that's no lie. Even though the closest Starbucks to where I live is a good 20 minute drive, I would literally drive 20 minutes to get that Starbucks. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like, I, I was obsessed. Um, but now I am trying to cut out caffeine because all my anxiety, it's, if you do suffer with anxiety, it's good to cut out, like, caffeine and all of that. So I am trying to cut out caffeine out of my system like slowly slowly so I feel like I don't need the coffee rush anymore because obviously I don't have caffeine so I'll just make tea or make like herbal tea at home and stuff and, and honestly I'm saving a lot of money because of that so I'm quite happy about that one yeah and next assumption is do you see yourself doing YouTube in the future Okay, so that's an interesting uh, question. So I don't even know if YouTube's gonna be around in the future. Like if it is, happy days, obviously I'm gonna still do it because obviously it's something I really love and I've got a massive, pa like I've got a passion for it. I've started, I started YouTube a couple of years ago when literally no one knew me and no one used to watch me, but I just did it because I had a passion for it. I love photography, I love videography, like I did that in university. So like if YouTube's still around, I will definitely do YouTube because I love it and it's just a hobby and it's just like, I don't know, it's just so much more to me. Like some people might think, oh, it's just a video, she just does it just for like money and stuff. Like, no, I did YouTube for ages before I earned anything off YouTube. So like YouTube for me is like, just something I'm very passionate about and I enjoy. I, I, mean, I actually enjoy the editing like part of it, which people actually hate. I actually enjoy it, I just sit there and edit and it's quite therapeutic too. So if YouTube's still around, no doubt I will still be on it, doing my thing. But of course I wanna adventure out and do different things too. So I'd like to open my own business one day and like, you know, adventure out and do different things. But I, I will definitely do YouTube, inshallah. Even if I have a kid, I'll definitely wanna do YouTube as well. So. Oh, it's, it's cool, you know. It's cool. The next assumption is you didn't finish your education. I did. I went to college. Um, I finished, obviously, my A-levels and secondary school. So I finished all of that. Finished college, all of that. Uh, and then I went to university. I did a year in uni and then I left it because I was like, this is so basic. I was doing photography and videography again because I actually love that subject and I love doing it. But I found it, like, very, like... Like stuff I knew, like how to take a picture and how to take like black and white pictures and stuff like that, how to edit and stuff like that's some like those things I, I knew myself, so I thought, why would I want to do it? So I left it. If that makes sense. Anyways, a quick water break because my mouth is getting so dry. Next assumption is Adol is <laughs> This is so funny. Adol is whipped over you. Um, I should think so. I hope he is. Um, I'm definitely whipped over him. Like I'm very, very much in love with him. Just, just like, just like the old days when you first meet someone, you're like very, like in love and very, like, yeah, that's my man. Yeah, I still feel the exact same. So I'm very whipped over him too. 
um, yeah, insert the cheesy music here for everyone's like, oh my god. <laughs> Next assumption is you wear the pants in the relationship. I feel like I answered this so many times before. No, I don't wear the pants in our relationship. It's a 50 50 thing between me and Adol. Adol is a very patient, loving person. So um, I hope that explains what I'm trying to say. But. <laughs> But no, I don't wear the pants in the relationship. It's kind of a 50-50 thing. So sometimes he'll do what I want. Sometimes I'll do what he wants. So it's like, we, we have a balance in our relationship. It's not, oh, you gotta listen to what I want or do what I want. No, it doesn't quite work like that. And I wouldn't want it to work like that, to be fair. I'd, I'd want it to be 50-50, do you know what I mean? Like I want my man to be a man. Okay, so the next assumption is actually quite a deep one. Not for me personally, but like if someone did suffer with that, that'd be quite personal to say or to assume of some someone. It says you are having uh, problems with your fertility. So, and a lot of people actually said the same thing. You don't want to have kids because you can't have kids. You have difficulty having kids. Like so many assumptions. Okay, so that to answer all of those in one, no, I don't have any issues with fertility. Um, we just don't want to have kids just yet. I feel like we're still really young and we do, and we have so many more things to do and to like give you guys um, that having kids just yet is not on our main priority. I mean, of course we do want to have kids. We've actually talked about it so many times and we have like an age where we do want to have kids, inshallah, if God wills. But no, we don't have issues with having kids, guys. Like, I feel like so many people assume that and honestly it's not the case yes we've been married for over four years i feel like people just assume things like if you've been married for quite a while oh my god like you can't have kids or you, like you know you no like we just are not ready for kids it's not just me speaking on my behalf it's both of us we've actually spoke about this over the weekend too and we're just not quite ready for kids honestly guys we have so much going on behind scenes that we just haven't got time for it just yet. I mean, we would love to have kids, inshallah, like when God wills and gives us a kid, we'll be so happy, but we're just not quite ready for it just yet. So to answer all of those and to answer all the questions and assumptions I usually get from you guys about having kids, we're just not quite ready for it. I mean, we do want it, no doubt. Who doesn't want their own kid? Like their own mini them. I mean, I'd love that, inshallah, but just not, just not right now, that's all. Next assumption is you have a lot of suppressed emotions and mental baggage, which is quite interesting to put it that way. But um, yeah, I've got like obviously a lot that happened to me over over the years, and I've had a lot happen to me when I was younger. Like if you guys didn't know, I was born with a disease called, uh, a disease called blood disease in my legs. Um, I actually did a video about that, so if you want to watch it, I'll leave that down below for you if you wanted to watch it. So I mean that does that does impact my insecurities it does impact so many things in my life like with how I feel about myself and how I look about uh, with how I look at myself it does does do an impact for sure like it yeah like all that happened to me in my past does play a massive impact to my mental health right now so yeah it does it does contribute to all that for sure maybe i'll go into detail about that in a video let me know if you guys want me to do that let me know down below but it's definitely something i want to talk about more like talk about how stuff that happened to you before can really impact the way you are right now and how you think and stuff so let me know if you guys want to see that video because that'd be something i'd i definitely like do for sure because i think i feel like watching videos like that are really interesting for me personally so let me know if you guys would like to see that i think i'm going to answer one more assumption and that's it because this video is so long as it is next assumption is you i don't feel sad because you can't cook him all the pang asian food i actually can cook like anyone can cook you can just open up like a recipe online or like open like a cookbook and like everything's pretty much there for you put everything together and it makes it makes a dish doesn't it so i mean i can cook what he wants and i do cook what he wants when he asks for it but he's not a massive like asian food eater like he likes different things like he actually really enjoys like english food like shepherd's pie lasagna different things like he enjoys stuff like that um so yeah he doesn't feel sad because he doesn't have asian food like whenever he wants it i can cook for him he can cook himself like it's not he wouldn't get upset about it because he's not a massive like i only eat rice and curry like every day no he's not like that at all he actually enjoys like different cuisines, different foods, so yeah. 
Okay guys, so that is everything. I hope I answered some of your assumptions. I feel like I answered a lot of assumptions. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. If you guys enjoy videos like these, then maybe I can do another video answering some of your assumptions. So if you guys have any more assumptions of me, then leave it commented down below because maybe I'll do a part two or something. But nevertheless, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I shall catch you guys really soon in my next video, guys. Bye.